with profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part one of four. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. 저희 방송은 다양한 언어를 제공합니다. 다음을 참고하세요. suprememastertv.com slash schedule. And I said that if you sit in the open air, it's even better for meditation. Oh. And in case if it's hot, like the weather keeps getting more and more hot, you can do that. Mm. Yes, master. yes, master. But of course you need blankets and all that inside in case it get cold. Yes, master. Yes. And you always have to sit under the roof. Otherwise, you have to buy also an extra piece of plastic sheet and cover on top of that tent in case it rains. Mm, right. Anyway, it depends on what you want, sincerely. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan Side Effect. Your conscience praises you. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic or Laxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai and Ukrainian. By Shapa. I just said, how are you, in Guarani, one of the languages spoken by the Guarani indigenous people of South America. My name is Martina. The ancient Guarani people enjoy sharing their knowledge of nature with you, because you also appreciate Mother Earth, which gives and sustains life unconditionally. The Guarani are an ancient South American indigenous group living in Paraguay, as well as Argentina, Bolivia and Brazil. With a history that dates back over 3,000 years, the Guarani culture is rich with tradition, including myths and legends, as well as crafts like embroidery, ceramic pottery and woven baskets. The Guarani language is still widely spoken and even taught in countries like Paraguay, where it is one of the official languages. The Guarani are known for their deeply held spiritual beliefs. To the Guarani, everything has a spirit and humans have both earthly and divine souls. There are even two forms of the Guarani language, one with everyday words and a more sacred version used mainly by the community's spiritual leaders. One of the Guarani's age-old customs is yerba mate, an infusion of loose-leafed tea brewed in a traditional container made of cord or wood. 
The spirit of sharing yerba mate in a social setting is intended to foster community equality and natural harmony. Many Guarani today proudly maintain their traditional ways, with some that have established formally recognized communities. These include Bolivia's Guarani indigenous farming community of Charagua y Yambue, the first of its kind in the nation. It was a delight to introduce to you the smiling Guarani people, observant viewers. May we all learn from the indigenous community's wealth of knowledge and become diligent guardians of nature. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Quan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Quan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honored One, Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated Master and Philosopher Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated Master and Philosopher Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved Prophet Mohammed, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. On July 29, 2022, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Last Call to Turn Vegan and Repent Sincerely, Part 5 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. That's all from us, Master. Any of you? Others? No? No, Master. No, Master. Okay, good. That is that, huh? And are you okay with the villa and all? Yes, Master. Oh, yes, yes, Master. Master. It's not too hard yet? No. no. No, Master. It's fine. I'm kind of worried. He just put some more fans, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And in front of all the villas, there is always some water with his hand washing sink, yeah? Yes. You get a bucket. You get some cold water from that water tap. And then you throw it on yourself uh, before you go to sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yes, Master. I'm worried you might not need any more fan after that. Okay? But you always have to dry yourself with a towel before you dress. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Especially in the summer, because in the summer your pores are open more, you know? Mm. And any cold water can tip in easily. And if you don't uh, wipe yourself dry and just put the clothes on, then the clothes will get damp and wet. It's not good, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I saw some people do that. Some idiot macho. I saw. Mm. But I didn't say anything. It's not my business. But you are my business. So I have to tell you. Like it or not, I always say something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. I say whatever is good for you, but I can afford you. But I tell you, okay, huh? Yes, 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 yes Master. Master. In case, so you can easily catch a cold if you don't wipe your body dry. Yes, yes, yes that's true. You don't have to have a big towel like those on the beach. Most people in the house have a big towel also. I never had it. Sometimes they bought it for me, and it was already in the bathroom, but I don't use them. I feel it's too heavy and too wasteful. I just use a couple of normal towels. 
either square or a long one. It depends. If I wash my hair, then I use a longer one. Yes. Just to wrap my hair. Long, but not that long. Not like those big towels. Yes, 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 Master. Long is like those that you wipe your hands with, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you put on the rack near the sink and you wipe your hands dry. Not that long, maybe 30 centimeters long. That's what it was. Yes, Yes, Master. Uh, 30 or 40, something like that, yeah. And the others, which is about 20, 20. Mm -hmm. This square face tower. Yes, Yes, Master. So either this or that. A couple of them is done because uh, I don't like such a big thing for what, you know. <laughs> it's uh, more difficult to wash. Eh? It fills up the washing machine too quickly. And if you wash by hand, then, oh my God, it's even worse. <laughs> 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 I can't handle that. It's too heavy for me. Yeah? I would not be able to wring it dry. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. If it's too hard, you have another solution. You get a tent which you can open four sides uh, with just net in on it. Yes, oh, yes, yes, master. That kind of single person tent with a little pocket that you can stretch your legs out. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. There are two kinds. One doesn't have the ring on top of your ankles. That one is uncomfortable mm-hmm. because oh. some they make it the ring on top, some make the ring below. The ring around the tent to make the tent stand up, that should be underneath your ankles. That type is better. Yes, Master. I used the one before also with the ring on top and your legs underneath, your feet underneath. That's very uncomfortable. The ring of the tent, the structure should be under your feet when you open that pocket. Then it doesn't feel like restricting. Oh, yes, Master. Yes, Master. And there is more room. Recently, they bought some for the sisters. If you want to know which one that is, you ask the girl. Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Yes. You ask the girl. They bought some before for when they want to sit outside. Yeah? And if you open all the material outside, all the plastic cover outside, then there is only a mosquito screen around it. Just like a mosquito net that you use to sleep in some Asian countries. Yes, Master. Mm. And they're very cool, you know? And if not cool enough, you just plug in a fan outside of your tent. Mm, yes, yes master. master. Oh, if not enough, then two fans. Oh, you'll be too cold. <laughs> <laughs> and one of your brothers before, he went home, took care of his parents because nobody is there. But uh, he sits like that, he told me, for many years already. Mm. He sits outside under the plastic. In front of the villa, there is a protruding roof, a small one. Yes, Mr. Mm-hmm. And he made it with clear plastic. There is some plastic which is ultraviolet proof, meaning also kind of shady, even though it looks also clear, like normal plastic seats. But it's a little bit anti-sun. Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. So it's cooler, and then he sat like that, under that, and in a tent. He has always been doing that for years. And only now he knows it is really different. Really good. But I said that a long time ago, many years ago, in a text with my phone when I didn't have uh, all the landline phones. When I was in the remote mountain where mm-hmm. I could not even call, I had to go around looking for bars, you know, in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and then stop wherever I can reach. Yes, ma'am. And I said that if you sit in the open air, it's even better for meditation. Uh-huh. And... In case if it's hot, like the weather keeps getting more and more hot, you can do that. Mm, yes, yes, master. master. But of course you need blankets and all that inside in case it gets cold. Yes, mm. yes, yes. And you always have to sit under the roof. Otherwise, you have to buy also an extra piece of plastic sheet and cover on top of that tent in case it rains. Mm, right. Anyway, it depends on what you want, sincerely. Mm, yes, yes, Master. Yes, master. Concerning the heat and if your villa is too hot, I don't know how I live in India. I never felt anything bad except only one time in the summer at midday and I walked to the Gaya. I walked. It was too hot, too hot and that was the only time I felt uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Not that I complained. My body gave me trouble only that time. Yes, Master. And India, it should be hotter than where you are. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure anyone nowadays thinks change. Yes, 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 master. Hot areas become cold, cold become hot. Oh, 
very hot altogether, you know, in the ocean, it's heating and all that. And it's very dangerous. Yes, 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 yes master. master. The ocean water becomes hotter. And the North Pole is 38 degrees. Mm. Wow. Yes. So you can have more fans if you want, please. Yes, Master. Yes, master. That I told many times already, not just this time. Yes, yes, yes master. master. Have more fans and then also take a cold shower in front of your villa before you go to sleep. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Don't take a shower in the shower area and then walk back up the steps, then you will sweat again. <laughs> <laughs> that is a normal shower. But before you sleep, you just splash some cold water from your face to toe. And dry and then go to sleep. Yes, master. Yes, master. And then you have fan as well, so it's cool. Uh, after you take a shower, don't go in front of the fan right away. Wear your clothes first. Yes, yes master. master. And I ask her, you must have more fans, okay? How many fans do you have already? She said three. And she would try four. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you can have as many as you want, but I don't know if you can walk in with the four fans. <laughs> <laughs> if there's room already uh, or not. Yes, yes, master. Yeah, the villa is small and you have your stuff as well. Mm-hmm. And some are working in there even. <laughs> I don't know, where do you hang the floor <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It cannot be worse than India. Yes, master. Yes, master. In yes, master. India, I live anywhere and I had no fans. Some. Some areas they had like a ceiling fan in the meditation hall. Ah, mm. uh, yes. Small, small meditation hall and one fan. But they put it slow. I never felt too cold, too hot or anything. In the Himalaya, yes. Yes. And I didn't have anything. I didn't even have a tent. I had just an umbrella and a coat. But slowly I had to sell the coat because it, it was too heavy for me to take to the Himalaya when I had to walk up. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there are places in the Himalaya that don't have any buses. Mm, yes, Master. Mm-hmm. Don't have anything. You have to be careful where you walk. Some people have horses in some areas only, and some people have laborers who carry their things for them, mm-hmm. or carry them even on their back. But I couldn't afford all that. And I lived in New Delhi also for some time, mm-hmm. and that was an urban area. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Very hot, very hot. So, extremely hot in New Delhi, and then <laughs> extremely cold in the Himalaya. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> yeah? Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, yes. So, at that time, I sold the coat, I sold the bags, I sold anything I could. And I kept only a little handbag. Hmm? And even my spoon, I had to sell. If I have two spoons, I sold one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets heavier, you know, if you go long distance. It's true. Yes, yes Master. And in India, they buy anything from you. 
They buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> they don't ask questions. See, anything could be useful in India. Mm. They buy and they resell again. Even <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine your second hand stuff becomes third hand, fourth hand. And it's still okay. Yeah, anything mm. you sell, they take it. Mm. Yeah, they just give you a price and they take it. It doesn't matter if it's so valuable or not. Like my old jacket, it's very thin, like just plastic. Yeah, and the zip on the zip. But when it's windy, it stops the wind. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, master. Yes, master. But just like a thin plastic, nothing more. And I saw it. They took it right away. No problem. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and before I left India, I even saw my umbrella. Okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> But that umbrella was very good. It was my house. Because I could not afford to go inside to rent a room or anything sometimes. And in Kashmir, they have boat houses. You can go inside the room. There are rooms built on top of boats. Yes, yes. yes, but I could not afford it at that time. I just stay under an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cover my face only. When it rained, yeah, when mm. it didn't rain, I didn't cover. <laughs> it was okay too. It was cheap. Yeah, it was just safer to sleep there like that yeah, on the boat. Yeah, mm. I like it on the boat also. Mm. Otherwise, if I was with a big pilgrim group, then I just stay outside. Yeah, nearby. Like a protruding roof out outside the corridor and all that. Yes, yes, master. It was cheaper. You didn't have to pay much. Some you didn't have to pay at all. If you didn't go inside the room or didn't rent a blanket or anything. Mm. Then it's mm. okay. Sometimes long before that, I had a little bit more money, so I could rent a mud house, mud room, and all that. But after a while, no more. <laughs> 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 Not even a mud room. Mm. When I was in India, I didn't know what a fan was, how to spell it. <laughs> 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 I never thought about all this or aircon or anything. We didn't have any of that in any ashram. Not where I went. Maybe in the master house, but I'm not sure. But where we were, there was nothing. And sometimes it was too crowded. So whenever I go, I just I have a coat, you know, a coat for winter. Yes, mm -hmm. just a cheap uh, fleece. Coat everywhere I went at that time. I took it with me, and so I just covered the corner of the balcony, and I sat under there oh, no. mm, at night and daytime. When it rained, and I run under the outside roof and sat mm. there for a while. Mm. I just have a chair. Ashrams they do have some chairs, like those big plastic chairs. Yes, yes, yes. I just sat there, and uh, in front of me was my small luggage. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I put my feet on the luggage like that. And sat under that coat. And when I was in America a long time ago, I gave an invitation to somebody. And then I sat all night like that because that sister offered me the bed also with her, but I didn't want to. So I sat in the corner of her bedroom with the coat to cover myself and meditated all night. Often I would do that everywhere I went before. Mm, yes, Master. Mm. And then. In the morning, I felt so happy. I said, oh, you told me you don't have neighbor. How come I hear a lot of music nearby, huh? Where, where is your neighbor? He said, what? <laughs> Not for half a mile, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I didn't know. I thought there were neighbors. Making a party. I said, they make a party on that. <laughs> 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 Lovely music. She said, no, no, no way. No way. <laughs> Because she lived in a remote area. In America, you can have a big land, and not that expensive, and she has a private small lake even. Mm, yes, Master. Mm. And she told me, oh, very quiet here, and very private, there's no neighbors, nothing. And I said, I heard music all night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to do the meditation of the inner south to hear it. Mm. That's why I told her in the morning, you have neighbors, they make a party all night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no, no, no way, no way. Uh, you must have heard uh, inside music, not outside. I said, "Ah, huh, really? Wow, it sounds so real to me <laughs> and very beautiful." I guess I wasn't even outside. You know, I was inside also, but I didn't realize where is what and inside, outside, nothing.
Initially, I just wanted to improve my athletic performance by going raw vegan after years of standard diet. It was a sudden discovery that just clicked with me. I changed my diet overnight and never looked back. Denis Mikhailov, vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. You just like another person observing another person. Just like that. Or looking at life from another angle somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like it doesn't concern you that much. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Yeah, it was really nice. I would like that again. This time of the world, I don't like. I worry about people. I'm agonized about the animal people when I see them dying and being tortured like that. And about the war and all that. All this is disturbing me too much. Yes, yes, yes. At that time, I was not in the world, man. Kind viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Last Call to Turn Vegan and Repent Sincerely, Part 5 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is The Seal of Divine Wisdom in the Word of Adam, Selections from The Seals of Wisdom by Ibn Arabi, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you always be blessed with heavenly love and light. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.